So, you guys might have noticed that I joined as a new host on the 9 to 5 Mac YouTube channel. Let's talk about it. So everybody that subscribed to this channel might have noticed that I haven't posted in about a month or so on my personal channel, and that's because you also might have noticed that I joined as a new host on the 9 to 5 Mac YouTube channel. And I wanted to address a few things. Firstly, I wanna address how I ended up on the 9to5Mac channel. Secondly, where this personal channel is gonna go from here in terms of what type of content, or what you guys suggest. I'm gonna need a lot of your help for that in the comments down below. And lastly, I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody that's been following this channel because without you guys, you know, me going to the 9to5Mac team would not have been possible. So firstly, let's talk about how it happened. It was a very simple process. I got an email from the founder and the owner of 9to5Mac saying that they needed a new host on the 9to5Mac channel. So, you know, after two weeks of going back and forth to see what exactly that would look like, I decided to agree because it was an opportunity that I could not let go. I've been watching the 9to5Mac channel for years and years and years, so it wasn't like a brand new channel to me. I knew exactly what they were about, what type of content they produced. I also go on the 9to5Mac website a lot of the time, especially for some leaks and rumors type videos to do research and things of that nature. So when they reached out, in my mind, it was an absolute no-brainer, right? I got to extend my reach to 750,000 subscribers going from a channel like mine, which is sitting around 40,000 to 45,000 subscribers, and that alone to be able to grow that over the span of two and a half, three years was an amazing feat. But then being able to go directly from 45,000 to 750,000 subscribers is kind of a crazy and surreal experience. So my content that's gonna be on that 9to5Mac channel is gonna be very similar to what they've always been producing, right? A lot of big in-depth walkthroughs, beta updates, some leaks and rumors and some speculation in terms of iPhone, iPad and Mac OS content. So if you guys do want to subscribe to that channel, I'll obviously link it down in the description below because I will be posting there on a more frequent basis. And if you guys want a more in-depth story about how that happened, let me know in the comments below because I'd be willing to elaborate because I'm all about transparency on this channel. So letting you guys know what it means from a channel perspective on my personal channel, what it means from a financial perspective, what it means from a sponsor and you know product perspective let me know in the comments below and i'd be happy to elaborate on that in a future video and then secondly is what's going to happen to this channel i didn't want to leave you guys hanging i know i kind of went mia over the last 30 to 40 days but this channel i'm still allowed to post whatever i want on this channel right so if i want to continue with my ipad content i can do that you know if i want to do apple news i can do that product reviews and things like that but my initial focus is gonna to be to stay in that iPad Pro world, right? That is what I built this channel on and that is what I'm gonna to continue to do. But there's also some other cool products that came in to the studio recently that I kinda of wanna make videos on, right? Smart home tech, you know, robot vacuums, more niche product reviews and software reviews for the iPad Pro and things of that nature. So nothing is off limits. Leave some comments down below. What do you guys wanna see out of this channel? Do you wanna see some more iPhone content? Do you wanna stay with the iPad Pro content or just iPad content in general? Do you want more leaks and rumors? Do you want something that's a little bit more broad? And like I said, talk about smart home tech or talk about maybe baby tech because that's something that we've been involved in over the last eight months now at this point. So, so let me know with a comment down below what you guys wanna see because at the end of the day, you guys help me build this channel. So I wanna be able to give back and give you guys the type of content that you want to see. I know that day in the life videos have been big again on YouTube, especially in the tech industry or the tech kind of sector in YouTube. So maybe something like that, more of long form content of that nature, or do you want to go in the opposite direction to do just a lot of YouTube shorts and turn this into a shorts channel? I'm going to leave this up to you guys because you guys are what brought this channel to what it is. And I want to continue to advocate for that and be able to show you guys what we can do with this channel moving forward. Because again, because again, nothing was off limits. And that was one of the main things when going over to nine to five Mac, I did not want to give up this channel. Yes, I was going to take a little transition period, which I already did. I want to get my feet wet, understand the processes of working for a bigger editorial company because that's not what I went to school for. You know, I was always in the corporate tech sales world and things of that nature. So moving over to an editorial company, it's a little bit different, you know, having to make sure that things get approved as opposed to running my own YouTube channel, which is whatever I want to post, I can post no matter how good or how bad that content is. And then lastly, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody because again, if you guys weren't watching my channel over the last two and a half, three years, then the people at 9to5Mac obviously wouldn't have noticed me, wouldn't have reached out to me and they wouldn't have thought, hey, this guy's made some great progress over the last two or three years. And again, it's unbelievable that I still just use an iPhone and an iPad to edit and record all of my content. So big shout out to you guys and thank you so much for sticking with me on this journey. And like I said, if you guys wanna follow me on 9 to 5 I'm gonna link that channel in the description below and definitely stay subscribed on this channel because the content will be coming back. Like I said, I already have some ideas for some smart home tech stuff. 
And again, we'll relate it back to the iPad as I, the iPad being my like main home hub because all of Apple smart speakers, they don't have a screen. So being able to use the iPad has been an absolute gem, especially as I'm building out my home kit setup for this home. But that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted this to be a quick PSA to let you know what happened with me. But again, products are coming in. Product reviews will be continuing on this channel. It just probably won't be as frequent. I'm aiming to do at least one video a week, but we'll see how that goes. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, and if you guys are gonna stick around on this channel, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below, and I'm super excited to keep going. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace. Let me know what you guys think about this mustache. It's new, I'm bringing it over.